up everyone this is totally random back here with another video if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and join the family all right so i found this article on screen rant and it is called what will we be post snyder justice league to be about all right so um you all know that <clears throat> justice league 2 had been announced like a while back and it was part of their grand plan for the dc for the dc extended universe but with the you know the shared you know the universals polarizing reception as well as justice league's outright box office failure which has nothing to do with Zack snyder everything is on warner bros um so basically as of right now as of all we know it won't have its long planned director Zack snyder um because of um Ju batman v superman you know the reception how the extended edition got so much good reviews but um, Weeby pretends that it was all Snyder's fault because they are the reason, even though he, <laughs> even though Warner Bros. is the reason they cut up that version and then released that in theaters because they thought the three hour version was going to be like, what, too long, not going to make enough money, which is all lies. People will go regardless if it's got good reviews. Um, so Weeby wanted a different direction, so they fired Zack Snyder, and so as we know, there's a result, there's, we don't know if he'll return or ever. We don't know, we, we somewhat know, you saw in my videos that what Snyder somewhat has something to plan. We don't know exactly though. We know that the main antagonist was Darkseid, um, but now we don't know if that's going to happen. Because now we know that Weeby wants to be just like Marvel. They want a lighter, standalone Justice League film with a lot of humor in it because that's the way to go. Um, and let's make it not serious at all, like Thor Ragnarok. Um, so, yeah. As I said, they was all aborted when we be decided they wanted a lighter standalone Justice League film, which resulted in the DC heroes taking on the deeply forgettable Steppenwolf, a blandly evil Lieutenant of Darkseid. Literally, Steppenwolf was one of the worst villains ever, and that was because of how underdeveloped he was. Alright, so there's this big question. Who will be the villain in Justice League 2? Um... Seems unlikely that Darkseid would be the villain, but honestly, it makes sense to me. I think it would make sense, but... Because, like, literally all these other people are not what you'd call strong characters. Because, um... Like, what, are you going to have Deathstroke or Lex Luthor? I mean, Lex Luthor, maybe. I don't know. But there is, you know, that famous end scene to the Justice League, the infamous Legion of Doom. Maybe that'll be it. I don't know. We have no idea. Because, you know, Darkseid is similar to the way Thanos is with um, the Avengers. So maybe they'll have Darkseid, but, like, he'll be in the background. Like, he's waiting. He's like, I need to do this. I'm buying my time and stuff like that, maybe. Uh, maybe he'll be the Joker. Or there's a lot of, very lot of people wanting to see Dwayne Johnson playing Black Adam. And everyone really wants to see him fight Superman for some reason. That'd be cool to see him. Okay, so another question would be before Justice League 2, if it happens or when it happens or everything. Who should join the Justice League? As we all know, Shazam's going to be part of it because you know Shazam's coming out. There's already, you know, all the, the five they have. Or they have Aquaman, The Flash, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. You know all of them in Cyborg. All of them are there. But who will be joining them? We know Shazam. That's all we know for now because the movie's coming out next April. So that's all we know for right now. So, um, the most obvious candidate and the one I've been begging forever, and I still don't understand why they're not working on it and they don't have a director in place. They apparently have a script, but no director. And this is one of the very first movies I would have made after Batman and Superman is Green Lantern. Um, the Green Lantern, as you've all seen, the last one we got was the horrible, horrible version with Ryan Reynolds and there's so much animation and it was just a box office failure that they just didn't, Warner Bros. decided not to do it afterwards. Um... But most of the you saw in the Justice League, there was the Green Lantern, or at least a Green Lantern in it. He died, obviously, by killed by Steppenwolf, and you see his ring fly off. To know where? We don't know. But um, one of the most indications that DC plans on is bringing either Hal Jordan or Jon Stewart, you know, those are the two characters who play it's the Green Lantern in the DC um, comics. Um, they have um, DC films have a plan to bring them in, but we don't know when, where. We just know there's a script by David S. Goyer that's done, but we don't know anything else. All we have right now for what we know is going to be in the Justice League that are coming to be, I mean, be, are going to become members is Zachary Levi, Zachary Levi Shazam, um, assuming that Shazam is a success, success, but we know it will be. I think it will be, as long as Warner Bros. doesn't mess with it. But we know that's the only thing right now that 
Shazam is the only one we know for sure is going to become part of the Justice League. Another one besides um, the Green Lantern is apparently the Martian Manhunter, but I'm not all for it. I've watched Martian Manhunter and Supergirl. I'm not a really big fan. I don't think it's... Maybe he deserves a seat at the Hall of Justice, but we don't know. Um, so, another question that's been asked is, when will we get Justice League 2? Um, so, we don't know, because other than... Um, we only know, we know there's Wonder Woman 2 that comes out next November, um, and Shazam, Aquaman comes out this year, November, and then we know there is, Nightwing's gonna come out sometime, we know Chris McKay, the guy who directed the Batman Lego movie, he's attached to that, they've got a script, I don't know, they're like in the pre very, very early stages, like no one's casting nothing, they're like still presenting what their idea of what the style they want the film to, Warner Bros, that's what I've heard from Chris McKay, but um, I'm excited for that movie, that's the one movie I'm really, really excited for, and then we know that they've got the Flash directors down. Um, we know there's an untitled... Um, we know the Flash movie. We don't know if it's a Flashpoint or not. But there's also an untitled Cyborg film. I don't know if that... I don't think that's going to happen. I don't know if that will happen. But we know, as I said, there is a Green Lantern film. There's the... David Esquires wrote this script along with someone else. But there is no director. And that's the one I'm saying people need to get their hands on that. That is one of the biggest characters in the Justice League. When you see the cartoons, you see Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern. You actually see those four before you see, and then the Flash maybe. But the, those are the main four you actually see. The main four, in my opinion, the main big ones. But basically, they're missing the Green Lantern. That's what they should be focusing on instead of focusing on oh, the New Gods. And that's also another thing, DC. D new Gods is coming out sometime later. And, you know, Eva DuVernay is directing that, but I don't know if that'll be good or not. Um, So the sequel for... Um, so Justice League 2, we don't know when it'll be coming out, because there's Suicide, Suicide Squad 2, and there's Flashpoint, and then there's the Batman all in line, and then now there's Man of Steel sequel, we don't know yet about that either, Green Lantern, which I said right now, they don't have a director yet, and then New Gods and all that, this will all have to happen before Justice League 2, and we don't know what's going to happen, and you know Walter Hamad is now in charge of DC Films, we have no idea what's going on behind there, behind closed doors. They, everything's kind of hush hush right now, so we don't know. Um, maybe, maybe we'll he'll open up and say exactly everything, but we don't know. But like I said, I really want Zack Snyder back. You, um, I at least bring him back to either direct Man of Steel two or Justice League two. Um, sure, if you want to make a lighter tone, I mean, it was going to be lighter tone. He even said that Justice League was going to be lighter than Batman v Superman. But like I said, if you really want to make sure, just just keep eyes on, like, put him, put, just be there to see what the filming and keep him on, I guess, I don't know. I mean, Zack Snyder's got a great vision. He had such a great vision and Warner Bros. has completely ruined it. But like I said, I still want my Snyder cut. I want it. Um, I just really want to see what Snyder's thing, everything. I wish Walter Hamada would go ahead and release it. Um, so yeah, you guys, um... Post comments below. Let me know what you think. Um, I'll share the link to this article. Um, you guys like this video. As I said, share this video. And most importantly, hit that subscribe button and join the family. And I'll get back to you with another video soon. So, peace out.